Speaker, we just wanted to know, um, ever since yeah, at, at the time you've come in office, a lot has happened within um, the East African Legislative Assembly, especially the fights. How are you prepared to clear some of those fights? Thank you so much. We, we've already made a plea to them that uh, there's no coin with one side. There are two sides of the coin. So what's their, coin? So what's their response? That, it's, it's so positive. Yes. Every side of the, of the coin that existed in the impeachment process look at me as a reconciling figure. So how are you going to work and ensure that you again, you know, Uganda and the whole speakership gains public trust? There was this picture painted of the Ugandan representatives as being very unpatriotic, as being at the forefront of the impeachment of the speaker. I would like to put this categorically clear that that is not the truth. What is the truth? The then? issue, the truth is this. The Ugandans were the, the people who were almost behind the impeachment. But that is they the, are the ones who are, they were the driving force in the Yala parliament. I can tell you categorically that the mover of the motion of impeachment is not a Ugandan. The, the persons who seconded the motions are not Ugandans. The issue that led to the, uh, the process or kick-started the impeachment process is not a Ugandan-based issue. Was in there anything that you, the Ugandan legislators, could have done in ensuring that maybe where the speaker is not performing well, just like you, everybody is infallible? Was in there a, any mechanism you could have used to ensure she gets on the right track? Absolutely, yes. And we did what we could do. What happened has happened. Let's pick the lessons from it and forge a future, I mean, for a way forward that will redeem the image of the assembly that is greatly dented in the population. You say to have been part of the faction. Naturally, I'm a member of the, the, of the assembly. I belong to a side. I'm not a fence sitter in terms of my leadership. Judge, you know, I, I belong to a thinking in the assembly. That is very important. I made attempts, definitely, to have discussions with her. I did and gave some bit of what I think could be done. Is it true that at some point, some members did not even want to share hotels? And then, too, you must is also... True? It is true. There came a time to the extent that even members would not easily have tea together. This is just a small assembly of 45 members. Do you really think this is enough time for you to finish the unfinished business? Yeah, yeah. We have the East African Electronic Transaction Bill. We have the East African uh, Joint Trade Negotiation Repeal Bill. We have the, uh, the East African Education Integration Bill. We, we have work. On, on the scale of 1 to 10, where are you now? We are at 2. Some people say, or some critics say, that um, the Ugandan legislators have set a very bad precedence. What precedence or legacy do you think you want to leave behind? Well, I like to take the positive side of everything. Uh, people might look at it that this is extremely a uh, very bad precedence. But for me, I think it is setting the pace of democratic processes of the region, showing that Uganda is so democratic. Have you ever spoken to Margaret Zua ever since you came to office? Not yet. You realize Why? that this uh, is Mar this is someone you. You come from the same country. Absolutely. Almost the same vicinity. Exactly. Why? We, we had a chat with Margaret when I was in Arusha. During just towards the, the, the close to 19th, we had a talk, but we did not go into the, uh, 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 the subject matter of the, of the, of the impeachment. Okay, thank you for your time. Thank you so